we've waited a long time for this blessed Easter to you all. Friday and Easter week, we finally get our alleluias back. What a joy. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Pardon my vocal cords, still reasons to celebrate. Let's pray. Page 80 in your book of common prayer. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Page 83. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. We're going to read together Psalm 136, um, which has quite a refrain. But if you're going to have a phrase stuck in your head all day, this is a pretty good one. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His mercy endures forever. Who only does great wonders for his mercy endures forever. Who by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters for his mercy endures forever. Who created great lights for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule the day for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of Egypt for his mercy endures forever and brought out Israel from among them for his mercy endures forever with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm for his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea in two for his mercy endures forever and made Israel to pass through the midst of it for his mercy endures forever, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever, and slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Zion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever, and Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever, and gave away their lands for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever. An inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowest state, for his mercy endures forever. And delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all creatures, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 51st verse. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written up will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Here ends the lesson. Canticle number 10. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts, and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. Praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty Father, who gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the resurrection power of the empty tomb. We pray especially this morning for Carol and for Micah. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you've promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. Grant us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That was fun. I love Easter week. Hey, Compline at Zion on Sunday night at, uh, well, open house from four till 630, like a pop-up coffee shop kind of thing. You can hang out, do your work, free coffee and treats. And then at 630, we worship up in the Great Hall, uh, with the ancient service of Compline, and we tuck in some sort of more contemporary worship music. It's really fun. So hope you'll come and celebrate. Continue your resurrection celebration with us. See ya. Happy Easter, all. <laughs>